your bubble app database is going to evolve over time. This is very normal. We can't anticipate everything from the start, but we can expect that as we build out the app more and more, the things will come up. We might introduce new data types, new option sets. We may change the way relationships between records work. One thing that you wanna be careful with as you're updating your data structure is how you go about deleting aspects of the structure, deleting data types, fields, and option sets. I'm gonna show you what happens when you delete aspects of your data structure. Let's start with this first text expression here. I'm searching for a list of records in my database. The data type is called appointments, and I'm just counting up how many there are. Now, if I go to my data structure and over to the data types tab and fully delete that type, okay, so I'm gonna hit the trash can icon and go back to my design, take a look at how Bubble is now representing the appointments data type. It's gonna say deleted in parentheses here. Notice how the issue checker in my app did not flag this. I would not know otherwise. If I'm not checking for these things, I would not know that I have a reference to something that's been deleted. Now, of course I can restore this data type. I can toggle this open and click on restore and it'll come back. Okay, so go back to my design, now it's back to normal. You wanna be very careful with deleting any aspect of your data structure. A good practice for you to get in the habit of is to first address all instances of, for example, the appointment data type before you actually delete it. Once something is deleted, you can no longer you know, create records in the database for it. You can no longer modify values in any existing records, right? It's deleted. So if you aren't addressing and replacing those references before you delete, you could end up with a ripple effect of issues for your app's functionality. You could create weird behaviors for your user's experience. So you wanna make sure that you actually address these before you delete them. Bubble will tell you when something's deleted, but it's technically going to think that everything is still correct. It's not going to throw an issue in the issue checker. And with a large application, that could be a really big problem. Let's look at another example here with a deleted field. So right now I have this displaying the current user's first name. So if I go over to the user table and delete the first name field, this, okay, going back to my expression, you can see right there, Bubble is letting me know that it's a deleted field, but again, no issue in the issue checker. I don't want to maintain references to this deleted field. I've deleted it for a reason. The better thing to have done is to check my application for all references to first name, replace them with whatever I'm doing instead. Maybe it's a different field. Maybe I need to change the approach and how the condition works, the workflow, or just the expression here before I delete it. Okay, I'm gonna go back and restore that first name field. So I'm gonna to toggle this open, hit restore. Now, something interesting happens with the option sets. Here I've got a radio button with uh, the type of choices set to one of my option sets called user type. Okay, so this is all configured to display my user type choices. I'm gonna head over to my data tab, then options, and I'm gonna delete this set. Okay, so that one's gone. Again, I can restore it if I need to. If I go back to my design, take a look at what happened. Bubble does not show me that this is deleted. In this case, Bubble will reveal an issue. Here it's gonna say radio button user type is not a possible option. If I click on this, you know, Bubble will take me to the page if I'm not already on it, and it's gonna highlight where that error is occurring. But if I were to just look at the configuration of this radio button alone, right? If I hadn't looked at my issue checker, everything looks normal here. I might be testing out this page and seeing weird behavior. Maybe uh, you know, the radio button's not behaving properly or I'm not able to save things uh, to my database. But in inspecting this radio button configuration here, everything looks normal. It doesn't look like there's a problem. And consider the scenario where maybe you have dozens and dozens of issues in your issue checker and you're not taking the time to go through those different items. You, uh, you know, may not notice that there's a problem here. This is why you should get in the habit of first looking throughout your application for any possible references to the thing that you're about to delete first before you actually delete it, okay? So I'm gonna go back into my option sets and restore this. You're gonna see similar situation if you were to delete individual options as well. This works you know, similar to the fields within a data type. So make sure that you're getting in a really good habit of checking your application before you delete something. 
And after you have deleted, test your application. Make sure you didn't miss anything. It's always important to test any major structural change like that from top to bottom, start to finish, so that you don't end up with any holes that would uh, negatively impact your user's experience, your app's performance, or the functionality overall. 